So today I'm gonna to show you how to make these. Party decorations from plastic tablecloths that you get at Dollar Tree. So let's get started. As some of you guys know, uh, a sweet uh, viewer sent me a big box of uh, craft supplies and in it, there was quite a few plastic tablecloths. So today I'm going to show you how to take these and make some party decorations out of them. I'm using red and green. Use any colors you want, use your color scheme. But I'm gonna use red and green just because that's the ones that was on top. For this first one, what I'm gonna do is I have this set of three metal rings. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this apart. I'm just gonna use one. I mean, one to show you, but you can make as many of these as you want. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut me some strips. We'll just cut some and then we'll see how many we need. I'm gonna cut these again. These are about an inch and a half wide. They don't have to be perfect. If you have one of the rotary cutters, I suggest using that. I've got one, but I'm, I, for the life of me, have no clue where it is. Let's go ahead. And cut these apart. It's easier to just cut across the fold than it is to try right now to unfold it. So now, now I'm gonna take my hoop. I'm gonna separate my strips. And these are, oh, I'd say uh, maybe 18 inches long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half just like this. And I'm going to take the hoop, put it behind the other hoop, and I'm just gonna pull the streamer through. But we want these close together. Just like this, just like this. Now, let's continue on. Behind, open the hoop, put the tails through, and pull. So the tails are hanging down. Who says you have to spend a lot of money for cute decorations? So, this is what it's starting to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Now that I have it done, it looks like a hula skirt. I'm gonna take some jute string and I am going to tie it I'm going to see. Mm, about this long. Oh, about 18 inches. Tie another one. I'm gonna tie it in, in uh, three. I'm gonna have three of these. So it will balance it out. Now let's measure this. Okay. And let's do the third one and tie them at the top. Just tie them in a knot. Just like this. Now, I'm going to take this outside and hang it in a tree and show you what it looks like. So that is what it looks like completed. I think this would be really pretty if you alternated red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. There's one way to repurpose 
a plastic tablecloth. Now I'm going to show you how to make a floral garland out of this. I'm just going to use the rest for this. So what I'm going to need is four, eight, 12, and 16. This is 16 ply deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the folds, fold it, and cut the other fold. Now, take one, two, and make these however many thick that you want to make them. It's kind of hard to count them while they're folded like this. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to get me a piece of jute string. And I'm going to kind of make it into an accordion fold, such as this. Take my string, tie it around it. Not too tight, but tight enough that it won't fall out. Cut my strings. Now, kind of spread your petals out. What we're going to do is we're going to separate them. It's going to be kind of hard to do because like I said, and we're just going to pull up just like so. Creating some petals. It's kind of hard to do when you can't use index finger. Just keep pulling it up. Like I said, make it as thick as many layers as you want. I'm going to make two of these. Then, I'm, then I'll show you what you can do because you can make these as long as you want to. But like I said, these are kind of hard to get apart. Just pull towards the center. Hopefully you can see what this is starting to look like. Now let's do the other side. Once you get all of your petals pulled up like this, go ahead and shape it. We'll actually make it into a ball. Just give it a shape however you want to shape it. Kind of scrunch it. Kind of pull them around. Until they look like this. Now, I have two of these done. Like I said, you can make as many of these as you want. As I have this cotton twine here, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna do two just to show you. And I'm gonna thread a needle pretty good size needle. I already have a knot in the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, right here where I tied it, I'm going to put my needle in. 
be very careful. Don't poke yourself. And I'm going to pull it through. I'm also going to tie a knot in it. Just like this. Measure up however far you want it to be. I'm also going to tie another knot. I'm going to double knot it. I get double thick so it won't pull through. Just like this. I'm going to take this one, find where I tied it, and do the same. Remove my needle. Reshape it. And it looks like this. So you can imagine if you had, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 on each string. And you could hang them from your wall, your, uh, your doorways, whatever it may be. So there is another way to utilize this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a larger flower, 12. I feel like I'm cutting fabric. And there's 16. I'm gonna cut this. Cut it again in the fold. We also need to cut this fold, just like the other one. We want to do the same. We are going to accordion, take a string. Tie it in the middle. Like I said, don't tie it too tight because you want to be able to manipulate your petals. Let's cut this off. Let's, before we do anything else, I need to take this and I'm going to fold it. But I'm going to make it to be about, oh, I don't know, 12 or 12, I guess, somewhere around in there. Maybe a, bit, a little bit larger. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this just like so. On the fold, I am going to go ahead and fold one more time like this. I'm going to take my scissors, starting at the fold, and I'm going to cut out leaf shapes. Just like this. Unfold it. And it should look like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I should have tied these on before I put the string on. So let's go ahead and redo this. I need to get my hot glue gun. And I know hot glue and plastic. But it's not gonna take much. Now, what I'm gonna do is flip this over. I'm now going to start working on the flower. Pull pull cool. 
Separate if you need to. Maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. You know, these things are very expensive at Hobby Lobby. Even on sale, these are expensive. So, why not make your own? I mean, like I said, these were sent to me by a viewer, Becky. And, you know, Dollar Tree has these for a dollar and a quarter. And you may get, I don't, maybe three, two, two at least, three maybe. But you can also, you know, different colors. I'm sure you all made these as kids. I did, I know. I would get tissue paper. I would use newspaper. We always had a newspaper. I think my mom showed me how to do this. Or, I, or maybe I learned it in school. I'm not sure, but I know I learned it when I was young. Okay, now there's that side. Let's go ahead and finish up this side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Now, go ahead and shape it. Kind of pull your petals around. Give it some structure. Let's take these leaves and kind of spread them out just a tad. Just like so. Now, we're gonna pull the petals around until it looks like this. And if you wanted, if you had, say, a yellow one, I don't, you could make a yellow one and put it down the middle for the center. Now, what I'm gonna do, well, I need the glue. I have this large bamboo skewer now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put quite a bit of hot glue on the end. It needs to be quite a bit. And if it melts it even better because it will melt it on to the wood. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stick and I'm just going to place it, press it it. Press it up, even into the flower. Let's go from the top. I'm gonna to kind of take these petals and go up around it. There you have it. A large flower. And I'll show you what this looks like for the next one. This one is going to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and cut some strips. I'm just gonna do two, a couple of these just to show you what I'm gonna do. Don't have to be perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut some strips. I think I will cut Eight of each, but these you can make however big you want. Two. Three. 
three. Four. Five. And this cuts very easy. Six. I just now realized that. Seven, and it cuts pretty straight. Eight. There's eight. Now, let's cut eight of these. One. Two. Three. That one wasn't very straight. Four. That one wasn't either. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, what I'm going to do is the same thing. Cut these apart into two strips, each one. This one will be extremely easy. So all you need basically for all of these is a skewer, plastic tablecloth, some hot glue, some string, and that's basically it. Oh, and a hoop. Like I said, I would advise using a smaller hoop than I did, because that took a while. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and take them apart. We'll unfold them. Okay. Now. Let me go ahead and unfold these. Get me a string. Let me just go ahead and use this one I've already got cut. I'm gonna take this string right here. I'm gonna lay this down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find center. I'm going to place it over the string, just like this. Another string. And I'm going to make a tassel. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, wrap it around once or twice. I advise using uh, the same color thread, but this shows up better. So go ahead and tie that. to string them. Trim. Now you have a tassel garland. Like I said, red, white, and blue would be awesome. Christmas. Any colors. I would use coordinating string, like I said, to make it look better, but this is an idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed these few uh, party decorations that you could make from plastic um, tablecloths that you can find at Dollar Tree. Like I said, I got these sent to me by, by Becky, and I really appreciate it. So, we have a huge flower. Like I said, this would be pretty in a vase. Or just without the stick and hanging on a wall. Put something yellow in the middle. You know how flowers are. The tassels. The floral garland. And the hoop tassels. So give these a try. Like I said, these are just suggestions on things you can do. I'm going to take these upstairs and I'm going to show you what they look like. So, this is what it all looks like. There is your tassel garland. There is your huge flower. There is your floral garland. And there is your tassel on a ring. And that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification button, and to share my video. It truly, truly helps me out to reach more people. Until next time, my crafty crew, happy Make It Monday. Bye.